follows immediately after last Sunday's discourse about abiding in the vine and the branches and the fruit. It continues the conversation, shedding light on the growth of Christian life, namely what contributes to becoming disciples and bearing fruit. When I was growing up, there was always music in the house. And one song from my childhood goes like this. If it sounds familiar to you, feel free to chime in. All you need is love. Love one another. 
another. Our love for one another is the sign of our fidelity. When we live in love, it brings us even, ever deeper into the bond of love between Jesus and God. And as we fall ever more deeply in love and unity with God, we realize it's not just about us. The purpose of God's love is to empower us to help others find their place in that holy fellowship of love and trust and unity with God. Jesus sends us out to love as we have been loved. But how do we do that exactly? Loving the way Jesus loved is hard. Having that joyful self-giving become a part of the fabric of our being day in and day out takes practice. We cannot do it by ourselves. Which is why I'm convinced that Jesus talks so much about abiding in his love. I saw a commercial for the Gulf Coast a few days ago. There were two people paddleboarding. For those of you who don't know, paddleboards are like surfboards, but you use a really long paddle to get around instead of catching the wave. It was near sunset in the picture, so the water looked lovely with its shades of blue and purple and rose. The people were having fun, but having a little trouble balancing while paddling. It wasn't going very smoothly, and there was a lot of wobbling, until one falls off the board and into the water. And then print filled the screen over the scene. Stay a while. You'll get it. That's pretty much what Jesus was trying to get through to the disciples that last night. And the message we need to hear still. Stay a while. You'll get it. Stay a while and you'll get that I chose you. Stay a while and you'll begin to get how much I love you. Stay a while and you'll know and you'll get that what I want most for you is for you to share that love with others so they can know the depth of my love too. Stay a while, my beloved. You'll get it. And when you do, my joy will be in you, and your joy will be complete. Stay a while. Amen.